All right, we're back at the Royal Star Film Festival, and we have a very special guest. We have very. Sue Lan Tan, who's here, and you have a movie that is playing in New York. Uh, correct? It's a, it's, it was. It was playing. It was yes. playing in New York, and the movie yeah. is called Score, a music film documentary? Score, a film music documentary. <laughs> he does always, that all the time, I though. It's all right. It's yes. I apologize. We, we yeah. type it correctly in the graphics, so it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> And this is excellent. You were showing me a little bit about the film, and it, yeah. it's a it's a documentary that basically uh, dives into how the score uh, gets people's reaction while watching a film. Correct? Oh, wow. Yeah. So it finally it's a, there's a film finally that puts the uh, film composer in the spotlight because usually you know we're focusing on what the actors are doing, Absolutely. the director, and everything. Yes. Usually, you know, we don't even know who scored the film. Mm -hmm. So this is really putting a focus yeah. on that. Unless you're odd like me, I love music scores. <laughs> That's do? what I was really excited we about. Especially some things that we look into that, yes. Yes. yes absolutely. Uh, yeah. And I was looking at the lineup in the film, the documentary, and the, the amount of people you have on there is amazing. There's, there's Danny Elfman, James yeah. Cameron, John Williams, oh, uh, Hans wow. Zimmer, yeah, and then uh, Trent Reznor's on there, who I think is amazing at scoring films right now. I mean, yeah. the, the unique sound that he is bringing is, I feel like it's He's updating. done film, he's done um, some yeah. video games, video some games, things, things like right. that. Yes, yeah. absolutely. So what is it that, uh, obviously, you're in the film, and, and what is it you do? That you so I'm at Kalamazoo College. I'm a psychology professor. This is my 20th year. And one of my research areas, it's a psychology of music, mm -hmm. but specifically psychology of film music. So how music actually plays a role in our experience of film. Not just emotion, emotion, but it's also even kind of like a storyteller. It helps you to kind of like focus on what to look at in the film, um, how to interpret what you're seeing. So, you know, if you change the score, you can kind of change what we think we're seeing and oh, definitely yes. what we're feeling. Through editing and the score can change everything. And yeah. the score is yeah. such a strong emotion. It pulls the emotion out of you when it comes to you're watching that part of the movie. Exactly. Everything can change simply by how, how the score enables you. Like, you're anticipating something. The score puts you in that place to anticipate exactly. what's coming. Exactly. Even when you're seeing, before you're seeing it, you're actually feeling what you're supposed to see. It's and almost then subliminal. It's, it yeah, is. it's like yeah. framing it. So, yeah. so how did you get involved in this project? This. Yeah. So because I'm doing psychology film music, I was doing some research that had been published and a book as well for Oxford University Press. Mm -hmm. um, there's not that many people doing studies on this topic. It, which is surprising, but yes, yeah. yeah. So people who were doing a film uh, music documentary, they got in touch with me and they said, we're making a film. This was a few years ago. They said, we're making a film about film composers. Mm -hmm. And we were wondering whether we could have you as an expert talking about how music is affecting people who are watching a film. So, so. after you, I imagine, obviously you've seen the movie. Yeah. Did you, you know, you've studied this. After watching the documentary, did you learn anything from it? I learned a whole lot. Did you really? Yeah. Okay. So they came over and they, they came over and interviewed me here in Kalamazoo okay. at the school for three hours. And that was also sort of helping me open my eyes because sure. when people asking you questions, there are questions that academics ask that people who are everyday watchers don't you know, necessarily ask. It digs a little deeper in, you, digs, in your yeah. perspective on things. You have to question yourself at that right. point. Right. It yes. made me kind of see things more meaningfully mm -hmm. as opposed to sort of like ivory tower, you know, help me kind of, <laughs> you know, make sure that I am asking questions and answering questions sure. that people are asking. But then when the film came out, I was really interested in hearing what the directors had to say and what the film composers had to say about what they're doing in the music as well. It's interesting because music draws such, it, it really draws, the, or, uh, I think directs the director a lot of times, and you see that with the director-composer team-ups. I mean, Tim Burton and Danny Elfman yeah. constantly work together. John Williams and Spielberg and, and Lucas. I mean, it's, it's interesting you see those pairings because you can understand how to well. make a movie they match. and you know yeah. they're going to compose yeah. it properly. It's interesting to watch how they stay teamed up with each other. I have to ask, yeah. is there a favorite uh, yes, music composer you. of yes. yours? Yes, I would say um, E.T. is a score that I really, really love. Amazing. Um, and John Williams' work, is, mm -hmm. is, of, of course. Um, another film that I really love is Up. Oh, and Michael amazing. And Giacchino's work is oh, so wow. fantastic yeah. because he'll take this really simple theme and he'll play it over and over and you never get bored of it. Yeah. And yet it pulls so much because of its simplicity. Yes. It's I, not, you know, it's not sort of artificial. I it's, chills right now because yeah. I go back to the montage yes. Yes. inside that the film. Married life and montage. the Mary Life montage, which is probably one of the most, I'm getting yes. a little choked up just thinking about it. I missed 10 it. minutes after music, that part yes. every time because I'm crying Yes, too hard. the music yeah. in that really <laughs> frames it. And yes. I never, it's funny because we sit here and we're talking about it. I never realized it until you said that. But the music plays such an important role in that montage that you can't, 
Yeah. Yeah, it's really simple. And what's interesting about that montage, it's mm -hmm. five minutes long. And what we often do when we're trying to make a piece of music happy and then sad, because there's happy and sad moments mm -hmm. in this life, married life, um, he actually never changes from major to minor. Oh, so he stays wow. in the major key the whole time. Wow, okay. And the changes for the emotion is the instruments change, the how fast and how slow changes, That's loud amazing. and slow. So That's he's incredible. doing all of these different things that children would be able to react to. Right. Um, because very often they don't read things like, oh, it's mm -hmm. changing in right. key. Right. Yeah. Right. But these things that are more like loudness and speed and what instruments are playing. Are are that's amazing. And they're pulling the emotion, the emotion out of you. That is oh, so God. cool. So where can people go, I, you know, if they're watching this and they want to find out more of the movie, where can they go to yeah. find out more about it? So just Google score a film music documentary. You actually have to Google the whole thing, not just score. Sure. Score a film music documentary. Otherwise you end you know, up with a Robert De Niro movie. <laughs> yes. Yeah, well put. Oh, nice. nice. <laughs> or football scores. Yeah, or something. No, more, yes. <laughs> so then you end up with a... Um, a website that actually shows you where it's playing right now on Excellent. all sorts of platforms. So you can go to, I think it's on Hulu and um, Amazon Excellent. Prime and you know all sorts of. We'll actually yeah. get the link and Absolutely post it below, below so you guys yeah. can follow yes. up on this. Sue, thank it's right you. Here. Yeah, <laughs> it's right here. <laughs> thank you so much for yeah. taking your time to thank chat with so us much. here.